The economic ties are what's expected to dominate the talks between President Robert Mugabe and uh, Xi Jinping when uh, she visits Zimbabwe on the first uh, day and on the first visit by a Chinese president there in nearly two decades. Farai M. Wakatuya has a preview of the issues which we'll be paying attention to. Just over a year ago, President Robert Mugabe was in Beijing and inked a series of deals with President Xi. They cover infrastructure development, energy and power generation, water reticulation and agriculture. The reciprocal visit is expected to consummate the multi-billion dollar deals and set them in motion. The first uh, key thing that our government would want and possibly even the people of Zimbabwe is clarification and finalization of things that were referred to as mega deals. Uh, uh, in other words, bilateral trade agreements, uh, loan agreements that were signed between the Zimbabwean government and the Chinese government or Chinese corporations. Beyond the development funding, Zimbabwe is also aiming to boost trade with China, which is already one of its strongest economic partners. Zimbabwe is looking at strengthening uh, trade uh, relationships between uh, Zimbabwe and China. Uh, if you notice the numbers, they have been growing annually. Uh, since Zimbabwe seriously engaged uh, China. But also I think Zimbabwe would also want to see, uh, a, a, you know, a, not just in terms of strengthening the relationships, but also making sure that uh, the relationship is also beneficial to Zimbabwe as a, as a trading partner and that they, they are equal partners uh, uh, going forward. Sino-Zimbabwe trade topped $1.2 billion last year, more than double what it was just five years ago. Zimbabwe's major exports include tobacco, cotton and chrome. The southern African country intends to start value addition of its raw materials, which would result in the export of semi-finished and processed commodities. To achieve that, it needs to resuscitate its industries in desperate need of recapitalization, which has not been possible because Zimbabwe has been locked out of borrowing from international capital markets. Discussions during President Xi's visit may look into helping Zimbabwe ease a chronic liquidity shortage. They will also look at uh, how best to tap into the Chinese uh, credit markets in terms of accessing credit, uh, for, especially for Zimbabwean banks, which have got a great need for, 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 for credit. President Robert Mugabe's government is pursuing an ambitious economic recovery plan, Zim Asset, which aims to create at least 2 million jobs revamp infrastructure and achieve at least 5% annual economic growth over the next five years. That plan requires billions to implement funds that Zimbabwe hopes could be crucially unlocked during this visit. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.